Welcome back, part six of our mini CNC machine out of computer parts. Uh, this is all the junk that I uh, we got salvaged from the floppy drive, little stepper motor, and the pancake motor, and the floppy, and CD ROM parts, the uh, boards, all stuff we can use later. But for now, we just needed this one part. And I'll show you right now, it's the sled from the CD-ROM and that's it. Instead of using the floppy drive right here, which only travels that much, we're going to use the sled from the CD-ROM drive that has a much longer travel. So now what we have to do is I've uh, soldered out uh, from the original where the, the original position of the uh, stepper motors, or the original tabs here, I've soldered them and I've extended the wires as well as the zero tracking sensor and I've made out of ribbon cable, I just cut up some ribbon cable and made some, uh, so, I, so it's small cable and I made the leads out a bit longer so it goes into the tray here and I hooked it up into the stepper motor and whatnot. So. That's all you have to do is extend those those wires. Now, what I have to do is glue this zero tracking sensor to the back of this sled, and I've already uh, tested it. It wants to go this way first, hit zero, and then start traveling the other way. So we have to glue our tracking sensor here, and then a little tab, a uh, plastic tab here, on top of this, so it'll hit our tracking sensor when it goes back. So I got the glue gun all heated up here. So let's just put a bit of glue on this tab, and then hopefully it'll go to the right position once I pull it back. If you can see that, all I've done is glued a small tab onto the uh, right here. So when our light sensor, when it hits this light sensor, which I'll glue in a sec, it goes back to this position, hits the light sensor, tells the circuit in the floppy drive uh, circuitry there that it's at zero position. So that acts as our uh, limit switch, or our travel distance limit switch. So let's just go ahead and put some glue on the light tracking, the zero tracking sensor and put it down there and I'll pull the sled back and I want it to when it's in the full back position it's going to stop so all I did you can see that is I'm gluing it in such a position that that tab I just put on hopefully it'll block the light in between in between these this light gate so that might just do it there, if you can see. Anyway, so that's it. And then we're just going to glue down our wire to the bottom, or to this, so it's not going to jiggle around and break our uh, solders. And I'm actually, I found this part of a hard drive is going to be my base, so that, you know, the machine won't move around or whatnot. And it's just going to go under like this. And uh, that's about it. So I'm going to uh, secure this to the base, and basically we'll plug it in. Is our next next video, and we'll see this sled hopefully go back and forth. And then after that, we're going to uh, control it with Linux CNC or CNCLinux.org, I think it's called. Okay, so we'll be right back. 